I got an email from a company that wanted to sponsor me and the name of the company was Wiz. First of all, I just want to say this video is not sponsored by Wiz. And if you go into the website, it says that it's a great way to expand your world and meet new friends. Real people Wiz your age. And it seems like it's geared towards 15 to 17 year olds, as you can tell by the Fortnite pictures. An app for people under the age of 18 to meet. So like a child dating app? Why does that sound like a terrible idea? An app geared at teenagers is causing major concerns after more than 100 reports of apparent sexual exploitation were made to the Canadian Centre for Child Protection tip line. A child safety watchdog is issuing a warning to parents about an app that's been dubbed the Tinder for Kids. Wiz has become the subject of more than 100 reports of alleged sexual exploitation against minors. Since we started tracking in 2021, we've had over 180 reports uh, specifically naming the app Wiz tied to financial sextortion and other luring type incidents. Dating apps are completely awful enough as it is. There's been a rise in kidnap related cases overseas linked to Tinder traps. People are constantly being extorted through dating apps. So why are we exposing minors to these threats? I'm obviously not the target demographic. I wouldn't have even known that this app even existed if someone didn't try to get me to promote it. So first, let me read you the email that made me suspicious of this app. Hi, The Asher Show. We are currently looking for talent to introduce the world and YouTube to Wiz app. Is Wiz supposed to be Riz with a W? It's an app that allows teens to meet new people, chat, play games, and make friends. You can find more information on their website. We look forward to hearing from you. An app for teens to meet new people? That doesn't sound great. Whose bright idea was it to start this company? It's kind of hard to find any information about this company Wiz because there's also a UK budget airline with the same name. But I found this article that was released in 2022. Wiz, the new Gen Z social app trend. Wiz is a part of the discovery apps in the make new friends category and aims to connect young people by scrolling through personalized profiles, photos, video songs, and other content. Throughout the profiles, all users can chat alone or in groups in the app designed to be a relationship facilitator. So this was their original Euphoria inspired promo that they made. So this app was created by the tech company Voodoo Studios and was founded in 2023. It's based in France, but they have a lot of locations all over, like in Beijing, Berlin, London. And the purpose of this company is just to create mobile games and apps. Voodoo is a tech company that creates mobile games and apps with 7 billion downloads and over 150 million monthly active users. So the team of bearded men that started Voodoo and one woman came up with a bright idea in 2019 or something to start this app Wiz to create an app for teens to find other teens online and they didn't think about the downside? Quick recap of some of the issues. Digital crimes extorting minors has increased from 2021 to 2023 because of the app Wiz. Add the comparison between what was reported into our tip line in 2022 in comparison to 2023, we've had 10 times as many reports um, in per pertaining to the app Wiz in 2023. I typed sextortion into Google News and these are some of the results that I get. Tinder style app for teens poses sextortion danger. Child safety watchdog warns parents about Wiz. Wiz, a Tinder style app for teens could pose sextortion danger, says Tipline. And how about this? This person posted this nine months ago talking about apps like Wiz and Peekaboo, which is an alternative to Wiz. I highly recommend you avoid it as I set my age to 16 and I've had people in their 20s pop up and swipe. And a 15 year old girl has told me about numerous predators messaging her. Plus, you cannot tell who's real and who's not. I think it's fair that I do some investigating into the app, see how things are on there. But first I'd like to make it very clear. This video is not sponsored by Wiz. And let me reply to this email actually. I think this app is not in my audience's demographic and to be honest, the concept is very sus. A teen dating app? I would rather not be the face of this PR nightmare. So I downloaded the app Wiz and at the end I'm gonna show you exactly how it is now. And I say now because the app has been taken down. The app was removed in January, but it's April now and they brought it back. They even have a Gen Alpha inspired trailer for its return. Originally, the app was mainly for people to hook up. 
And it's a weird thing for me to say based on the context of what we're talking about. Because I have some screenshots from the previous version here. Here is a supposed 6 foot 3 13 year old trying to shoot their shot, trying to entice other 15 year olds. This one just says, where the freaks at? Rate me. Also 15. This is another, of course, 15 year old who has to say, I don't send, which is code for they don't send nudes. Imagine an app that is geared towards 15 year olds and people have to say that they don't send nudes. And just read this review. Two stars simply because the app is well designed. However, the people who use it aren't actually friends you can expect to make. Everyone on here is either only in it for nudes or just can't hold a normal human conversation and is actually embarrassing. Even in the Wiz unofficial Reddit, people are confused saying the majority of posts on this sub are talking about hooking up or trading pics. Like because you might be 12, the pics of a 15 year old aren't CP? They are CP. So as someone way above 18, I just wanted to ask, why should I use this app? And remember I talked about the increase in sextortion crimes? Here are some more stories that people shared on Reddit. I was sextorted on an app called Wiz. I'm a 16 year old who was getting a lot of attention on the Wiz app. An account texted me asking to have fun sometime. Me as a gullible 16 year old went along with it. We exchanged snaps and began a conversation. I sent first a video to which she replied that she wanted a pic instead. I sent and asked for her to send back and that's when I was hit with a collage of pictures, myself, the nudes, and my Instagram followers. I was then threatened and that I would be exposed and my life would be ruined. I pleaded for her not to do this and eventually blocked her and deactivated my Instagram page. I made a video about Tinder scams and this is common on there also. People try to extort you for money. They say give me $200 or I'm sending all these pictures to all of your followers on Instagram and Facebook. And But this is happening to 15 year olds. But that was the old version of the app because now we're in a new era. There's a new version that came out recently. Based on their February press release, the new app claims Wiz adds additional in-app safety features. So now they have mandatory user verification, double layer of ad security, in-app education, in-app warnings, and whatever else they think is going to predator-proof their app. Too bad they did this after hundreds of kids got traumatized on their app. So I just opened the app here and it first asks you for your age. So you gotta verify your age, that's good. Look at that, you've been banned. It looks like the app is working well. It knows exactly when you're using a fake photo. Great. I re-downloaded the app on another phone, put my age as 24, and it verified my age just based on my face, which is not that great. So you can set up your profile with interest music, put up quotes, have stickers, and the stickers are linked to communities where you can find friends that have similar interests. The app keeps trying to get you to buy coins, which is a way to boost your profile's discoverability. Obviously, in-app purchases are always a must, but it's just as described, basically like a dating slash hookup app. People write in their bios, hit me up if you smoke weed, I got my own place and car, or other people are advertising their Snapchats. People still have don't send in their profiles because they don't want people asking them for nudes. And everyone else is just using it as a dating profile. I love tall, flavored men. I watch anime. These are my likes. All these profiles, except for the last one, are people that are 18 years old, even though I set my profile at 24. Based on what I've seen, it's a little weird. It's kind of like Instagram meets Snapchat with like the UI of Facebook. When it was first created, it was pretty bad. There was a lot of people that were pretending to be younger than they are, talking to younger kids. They've made a lot of changes so that it's harder for you to do these things. But based on some of the reviews, it seems like everyone is complaining about the changes. Look, the app's been nice until the recent update. It removes 90% of the features and when when you're looking to make mates, it's not like you can swipe through their profile easily or even change it so people with the same stickers as you show up. Overall, I'm not using Wiz with this new update. The app was good before, whatever update had completely ruined it. I uploaded a picture of me and all it had was a sticker and a song and it was restricted. I uploaded a different one and it did the same. This time it said it was harmful for others. I don't receive any messages from this app. Before people were getting too many messages, now people aren't getting anything. You can't even post pictures of yourself anymore because it might be harmful. It seems like the app has just killed itself and that's probably why they're getting other people like me to try and promote it. Not sponsored by Wiz. Is it just me or is technology becoming more harmful than good? Messenger apps used to help us connect to friends and family all over the world. Dating apps helped people meet their perfect match from the safety of their couch. But what are these apps being used for now? Catfishing. Extortion, kidnapping. Why are we making it easier for predators to find kids? And why do they think that I would want to promote that? Anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about the Wiz app. It seems like it went from bad to 
non-existent thank you guys for watching this video make sure you subscribe if you're new make sure you leave me a comment down below and i'll be back very soon with something brand new